Hello stock traders, I hope all of you had a fantastic weekend and in today's video I'm going to cover the massive amount of stocks that hit their exit point in my portfolio. I'm going to cover each and every one and show you the chart that led to me selling that particular position. Also, we have quite a few from the top seven on Friday's video that have now been replaced because some of those sold. But before I get going, if you could do me a favor, please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. I do have a Patreon group. I have a link in the description down below. If you wanna know my call outs and my stock picks right when they happen, and that's the place to be a part check it out i have a link down there we would love for you to be a part all right well let's get going uh you know no strategy is 100 percent if you are expecting your stock trading strategy to be 100 percent you are living a pipe dream there is no way for that to happen and in fact that is not an effective strategy the way to go is a rule based strategy and i talk about this a lot i have my insider swing play that has specific rules for why i enter a stock and specific rules why I exit a stock and if those rules aren't present i do not purchase a stock that has insider activity and I do not sell and get rid of a stock that has uh, that has hit its exit point until we hit one of those reasons. So it is so important to have a rule-based strategy for how you trade stocks each and every day. Now, I'm a swing trader. I'm not a day trader. I don't trade options or anything like that. I trade stocks, and that's what I like to trade is stocks and ETFs. They are the safest way, and I have a well-diversified portfolio of many different strategies to use and that's what i suggest having it's so important to have a diversified strategy typically when i go in a stock i will go in at a part of my cash position so if i have a hundred thousand in cash and i'm looking to spend three percent per stock pick that i have then i would use three thousand per one going in and so i like to use a portion of my cash so that i never run out of available cash to take advantage of deals and when I sell out of a position, I like to sell 100%, kind of like what Warren Buffett does when he exits the position. He doesn't do so slowly. He holds for a very long time. But when he exits, he exits it all. And so I pay attention to that and so many other things. But let's get into these videos. Let's get into this video. Let's start talking about all of those different things on all of these different sales. Boy, on Friday was a massive sale exodus and there are so many stocks that hit their exit point and uh, the very first one here on the list is kmf and this is part of my long-term dividend strategy and sold this for a small 1.85 percent gain but as you can see here we hit these sell indicators and so it was time to move on the next is ticker symbol emo this is also part of my long-term dividend strategy sold for a 1.45 percent gain as we hit sell indicators on that one sold on this mark right here uh not this later one but uh right in here and got a nice price on it you can see how it's starting to come down and fill this gap now that we hit the sale signal so that it works very very well and a long time hold i have had this stock for a very long time this is nbta i initially called this out in an earlier video bought here bought here this was actually a loser but it was time for me to move on on this stock sold for a 4.16 percent loss that's very unfortunate now i have 30 days before i can look to enter in on it again without having a wash sale and violating the wash sale rule that's out there this did have a sell indicator on this mark right here you can't see it it went away uh throughout the day and by the end of the day the sell indicator had gone away but it was time for me to move on that was the first sell indicator i have seen ever since getting into the stock sold twst for a very solid 19.43 percent gain that was part of my active etf strategy sold twou for a 2.83 percent gain this was also part of my active etf strategy uh, TNA sold for a 6.72%. This is part of my DeMarc ETF strategy. And uh, so entered uh, right in here 
and had a, a decent gain on this one. This is a leveraged ETF and it definitely showed buy signals, but now showing sell signals. And you can see how it retreated once we saw those sell signals. The next is PLTR. Uh, part of my active ETF strategy sold for an 11.95% gain. So that one was pretty clear cut. Had a buy here and sell here out for a nice solid gain. The next is part of my DeMarc ETF strategy. Again, this is the SPXL. This is a leveraged ETF. So this is 3x on the SPX. And so as the SPX moves up in price, this moves up three times as fast as that. So this is a little more volatile, but it is based on the SPX. And so that's what makes it safe. And I traded this for a 7.27% gain. Uh, the next is TDOC, sold for a 6.75% gain, part of my active ETF strategy. The next one is U. Uh, this is Unity Software, part of my active ETF strategy, sold for a 19.36% gain as it alerted a sell signal early in the day on Friday. The next is UDAO, ticker symbol UDOW. This is part of my DeMarc ETF strategy, 5.77% gain. Next is PRNT. This is this is uh, the ARC ETF printing uh, ETF printer ETF. Sold this for a 4.30% gain. This is part of my active ETF strategy. The next is PBT, and I've been waiting on this forever. Boy, it seemed like forever bought here. And yeah, I got more buy signals down here, but did not load more at that time. Sold this for a 6.65% gain. This is part of my long-term royalty strategy, and it was just time to move on on this one. This next one's an insider, and this was on the top seven list from Friday. This is ticker symbol R-E-K-R. -E so this sold for an 18.75% gain. We had a sell signal here, and it vanished uh, as it went, but sold here, and then there was a massive sell-off. It recovered a little bit throughout the day, but uh, taking my solid 18% gains after insider activity. Uh, the next was Lucid Technology, sold this for a 15.73% gain. This was also part of the top seven, uh, and so it is now time to replace this one. Uh, very solid insider stock trade. This one was really good. Uh, then PA. This next one is, excuse me, this was Passage Bio sold for a 3.23% gain. Then Lucid Technologies sold for a 15.73% gain. And finally, another Insider and sold for a 2.80% gain. This was number seven on the list of the top seven. So we had three stocks within the top seven sell and we got to replace them with something and I got some good stocks for us. Let's start off with Number seven continues to be Miso. Uh, this one was earlier, much higher on the list. It's moved down. It's just gotten a little bit older. Since calling this out, is up 5.96%. I don't know if you guys got in on this, uh, guys or gals, but this one uh, I think is going to be really great. They have a PDUFA date of August 2nd coming up. I think that this one's going to be much stronger than just a 6% gain so far. Looking uh, very good as we get going. The next is TARS, T-A-R-S. This is Tarsus Pharma, PDFA date of 825, so August 25th. Only up 0.67% on this one so far, but looking forward to a really nice gains on this. I paid a little much for this one to get in, and so my entry wasn't very great, so hopefully you got a better entry than me. Number five, uh, and this was previously much higher on the list. This is an insider stock. So far, it's up 2.67% like this for a nice move up. Very bullish insider activity. This is uh, Royalty Pharma and looking forward to a really nice, at least I th is this Recursion Pharma or Royal Royalty Pharma is what this is. And so looking forward to it continuing to move upwards. And number four continues, continues to be CRSP. This is an active ETF strategy. ARC ETF loaded more shares this reported on Friday. So I'm expecting good times on this now. Personally, I'm down 8.72% just called this out last Friday. This was one of the picks and it has not done well. It did jump kind of nicely there on Friday, but then it's kind of retreated some. I'm expecting this to be a very strong stock. This has been very strong for me in the past, made lots and lots of money on this particular one. And so I think it's something that you can too. So now three new ones to add 
Now, the insiders uh, reported from Friday, there wasn't a single one that I liked. I didn't like any of them. So there are no insiders that I'm going to be calling out on the Discord on Monday. And so I had to go to a different strategy to replace these three. And I think all of these strategies will be very good. As we take a look at the SPX, in my opinion, we are very overheated on the SPX, and I am expecting uh, a lot of these sell signals to start to turn into some massive selling. And so there's this gap open down to the bottom here. I'm expecting the market actually to go down based upon the in indicators, not based upon my feelings, but the levels that you'll want to look for on Monday morning are as high as... 4,500 on the SPX, where support is landing right at 443. I think we could come down to here and we see a pullback very, very soon. We're getting very overheated. This rally is kind of crazy and it's happening on low volume. Uh, doesn't mean the stock market can't go up and haul low volume. It just means that the indicators are now pointing that we are about to see a move in the opposite direction. And why do I say that? Uh, I say that and you can see here that the VIX is a little bit elevated from the day and so on Friday was elevated. Now it's time to talk about these three new stocks and number three this is part of my bearish DeMarc ETF. So this ticker symbol is TZA. This is the Direxian Small Cap Bear 3X shares. So you make money when the stock market goes down. And unfortunately, the indicators are indicating that this is going to probably see a move upwards. And so I am entering this one TZA. I've had a lot of success in trading this. Uh, we have two buy signals here. This is on the four hour chart. So each one of these candles is a four hour. And so looking for a nice move on these, I will try to enter these uh, early uh, in the in the day on Monday, looking for actually a bearish move and a little bit of a pullback. Now, this can take some time. Sometimes these moves can take quite a while. This one took a while to come to fruition. Um, but you can see where this has just been successful in the past. You can see the movement here, all these sell indicators right here. And now seeing these buy indicators, I uh, was successful with this uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And now entering again, uh, this stock trade done many, many times over the last six months. And so TZA is now alerting again. So we could see a pullback and liking this. So this really is small caps. And so as the uh, Russell 2000 moves down, this moves up. And so this is a good hedge against what could be coming in the short term. At least the indicators are saying that in the short term, that's going to happen. That doesn't necessarily mean that no one knows for sure what's going to happen. But it seems like we are too far to the upside and a pullback is imminent. The next one, number two, is SDAO. So this is the Ultra Short Pro Dow 30. So as the Dow moves down, this stock moves up, had a lot of success with this. You can see buy signal, bam, buy, sell. This again, another one that's been really successful for me in the past. We have buy signals again, showing that the Dow is overheated and that probably in the short term, we could see a turn down in this. So as the Dow moves moves down this moves up three times as fast as it moves down so this is a bearish demarc indicator etf and i like this for a nice move this is now number two because i don't have any good insiders to go into i always prefer the insider strategy first but look towards other strategies if that has nothing available and there just is nothing good from friday uh, we had an insider purchase by asan uh, that is a very uh, tricky stock asana technologies um, and it's got sell indicators all over it. It's not worth buying. Um, and I just didn't see anything good. So, I mean, if you see something I don't see, I don't know what you could see, but uh, it was a bunch of junk on Friday. Okay, and so number one is DRIP. This is ticker symbol DRIP. This is a bearish to mark ETF strategy. And this one, uh, the more oil and gas goes down, the more in price, the more that uh, this goes up. And so drip is one to look for. Like this for oil and gas is pretty overpriced at the moment. We could see a retreat from that, especially if recession fears show their head. 
again uh, we could see this move up so again playing with the same theme um, I think that this one is a really good one to look at this one is bearish 2x and uh, I like this for a move up as oil and gas prices have become too overheated Wish you all the best on the stock market. Please reach out to me in the comments section down below. If there's a stock you want me to cover, I can quickly cover it. That might be kind of fun to do. So please leave a message in into the comment section if you are interested in me following any kind of stocks. And I can uh, at least take a quick look at them and give you my opinion based upon my indicators. I wish you all the best. And Ray Tovin, out.